Welcome to the New England Journal of Medicine at the annual meeting of the European Society of Cardiology. I'm Stephen Morrissey, Executive Managing Editor, and I'm talking with Deputy Editor Jane Leopold and Editor-in-Chief Eric Rubin. We're looking at the Fine Arts HF trial, phenerinone in heart failure for mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction. Jane, why was the study of heart failure performed? Well, for a few reasons. The first is we know that for patients with heart failure with a reduced ejection fraction, that mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists actually improve clinical outcomes. We also know that from the TOPCAD trial, that mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists did not show benefit but only when the investigators looked in retrospect did they discover that there were actually some regional differences and that that may have explained why there was benefit in some areas, but not in others. So now we have a new non-steroidal mineralocorticoid receptor, and it's being trialed in a patient population where we don't really know whether these agents work. Eric, what happened in this trial? Steve, this was a randomized controlled trial. It enrolled patients with heart failure and a preserved ejection fraction of at least 40%. They were randomized to receive either finerenone or placebo. The primary outcome was a composite of worsening heart failure events, which was defined as an unplanned hospitalization for heart failure or urgent heart failure visit and cardiovascular death. A total of about 6,000 patients were randomized. There were more than 1,000 events in the finerenone group, but almost 1,300 in those receiving placebo, a statistically significant difference. There was more hyperkalemia in those on finerenone. Jane, do the results of this study shift our thinking about mineralocorticoid receptor blockade in patients with heart failure and a mildly reduced or preserved ejection fraction? I really think they do. I think this study tells us that uh, use of this particular non-steroidal agent in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction or mildly reduced ejection fraction are beneficial. It reduces heart failure events. It provides solid evidence to support that, and we should be thinking about that. We also need to realize that even though this is a non-steroidal agent, it is still associated with uh, hyperkalemia, similar to what we saw with spironolactone. But this is something that is looked at with blood tests for anyone that goes on these agents. The other potential benefit of this agent, although not uh, discussed in this trial, is as a non-steroidal agent, it may have fewer side effects that some patients uh, find difficult to handle. Jane, this was a pretty impressive result. Do you think this will become standard of care? I do think it will become standard of care. I think the community has been waiting for evidence that mineralocorticoid receptor blockade is beneficial in this patient population, and now we have it. Thank you, Jane, and thank you, Eric. This study was just published at NEJM.org.